Hello, and welcome to Penguin's Wanderlust. Uh, Burning Man advice is what I'm doing this month for a vlog every day in April. So today I thought I would start on Burning Man's 10 Principles. Uh, Larry wrote these originally for to give some guidance to the regional events. The one we're going to discuss today is leaving no trace. Uh, most people are familiar with this concept. It's pack it in, pack it out. And what it says in the uh, official BurningMan.org uh, page, it says, for leaving no trace, our community respects the environment. We are committed to leaving no physical trace of our activities wherever we gather. We clean up after ourselves and endeavor whenever possible to leave such places in a better state than when we found them. So, there's a word that the burners use and they call it moop. So moop is matter out of place. So if you're walking along and you see a beer can on the ground, then that is matter out of place, that is moop. So you would pick it up and take it with you. So it's kind of um, getting rid of litter. The reason this is really relevant to going to Burning Man is, is that the Black Rock Desert is basically a park and it falls under the Bureau of Land Management and Burning Man has a contract which says for every square feet of space there's only allowed to be left over so much stuff that shouldn't be there and uh, we get marked on our performance and cleaning up so it's very important for all participants that go to Burning Man events to make sure that you are part of the solution and not part of the problem so before you head off to the playa the first thing you can do is if you bought anything new, remove any extra packaging that you can and get rid of it in garbage cans in Reno or wherever you're coming. Don't wait until you're on the playa to unwrap something. And also do not buy anything out of styrofoam, like do not buy styrofoam coolers, um, stuff like that. You don't want anything that's going to break into a million pieces and be impossible to pick up. Avoid feathers, especially boas. Up until th about three years ago, feathers were on the banned item list for Burning Man. You weren't allowed to bring feathers. And yet there were always somebody who would have a feather headdress, or there would be those two girls that uh, danced by the temple at sunrise every morning, and they have feathers feather costumes, wings, and a big dress part, and people used to kind of call them the playa chickens because they were breaking the rules and but saying that no, our feathers are like really tied on and they're fine, but now apparently you can have feathers, but please do not bring boas. Avoid glass bottles and loose pieces of paper. Like for our model camp, we buy drawing pads so there won't be just people with a bunch of papers and if you look at the um, survival guide for Burning Man you'll see that you're not supposed to bring glass or paper loose paper so while you're at Burning Man the concept is don't let anything hit the ground like just keep the ground clear if you do drop something on the ground, as I saw, uh, there's a march of a billion bunnies, and I, they were gifting carrot juice the one year, and some of it spilled onto the playa. Well, they kicked the playa dust onto it, and then they begged the whole mess to take home and away. So that's the thing. You clean up and you take away anything that's fallen on the ground that shouldn't be there. Uh, some people like to carry a, a moot bag, 
think they'll have a little cloth bag. And as they're going on, if they see the, that there's like a beer can on the ground, they'll pick it up and put it in the remove bag and remove it. Uh, sometimes you can find what we call swag. Swag are like things that you get that are fun to get. Uh, sometimes you can find pretty neat stuff that somebody else has dropped on the playa and you have something new. And if you want to see if the former um, owners still want it, then you can post it in the Lost and Found online when you get home. The porta potties. Burning Man only gives us roads and porta potties. So don't abuse the porta potties. Never put anything that didn't come out of your body into a porta potty. I've been at regional events and seen somebody has dropped a beer can into the porta potty. Do not be that person because that is not a good burner. That is a bad person because those things choke up the hoses that the guys who come to clean out the porta potties they can they have to actually reach their arm into the porta potty and pull that out to unclog it. So don't do that to them. Um, they're on like their last choice of porta potty people. Other years in the past, they had them quit on them and the piles just kept getting higher and higher. So, do not abuse the porta potties. Porta potties aren't everywhere. They are not way out in the deep playa where Robot Heart likes to hang out. No pooping or peeing on the playa. And that means you, Robot Heart Ravers. You go to a porta potty like everybody else. And if somebody tells you that Daft, Daft Punk is playing at the trash fence, question whether you really need to go and see them. When you're leaving, do not leave garbage bags full of garbage outside the porta potties. Don't leave a mound of stuff anywhere. There is no garbage pickup. Nobody wants to clean up after you. As they always say, your mother isn't here. And again, you want to leave the place better than you found it. So before you leave your camping spot, you walk around and you do what's called a moop sweep to make sure nothing's left behind and you take it with you. Bicycles. Do not abandon your bicycle on the playa. That's not how it's done. Find out how it's done before you go. Uh, the uh, green yellow bike program, they only accept one particular type of bike, a huffy of a particular type. So if you are thinking you might not want to bring your bike back, then make sure you get the type that is appropriate for the bike program. But otherwise, you take your bike out of there. I think that there's a place in Gerlach, the next town out, where you can uh, um, donate your bicycle. Dumping water. The only thing that you can do with water, if it's gray water or black water, you're taking it home. Clean water from a cooler, you can sprinkle it on the road. They have water trucks that go and water the roads occasionally. Uh, do not shower using the, those, the frog water, as they call it, from the frog ponds. It's not that clean. If you have any rebar that you have hammered into the playa and you can't get it out, do not leave it. Go and find help. You have to get that rebar out. I have seen people leave rebar in. Do not do that. Off playa, you can turn right just before Gerlach and you can pay to get rid of your garbage there. So you don't have to take it very far, but don't abandon it on the side of the road somewhere. Do not dump all your extra water on the side of the road. Do not go and fill up a dumpster with 20 dumpsters worth. That's been done other years too. You need to make sure that you don't make the towns around the playa angry at us. We have to keep a good community spirit there. That means we can't abuse their good nature. 
after the event, the Department of Public Works, the DPW, they do, they stay behind for a month and they do a moop sweep of the entire entirety of Black Rock City and they remove anything that's there. But they put on a map anything that they found. Camps with a red mark on the moop map will have their following year's placement affected. So if you're on the Esplanade and you want to stay on the Esplanade, then don't leave stuff behind. Take it with you. And do not drop your couch from your camp at somebody else's nice, clean, already pristine area. Like, don't litter on other people's camps and get them in trouble for something they didn't do. I've seen that happen, too. The Bureau of Land Management, BLM, they decide whether Burning Man can happen next year based on how good the cleanup is. And our DPW, a shout out for DPW, they do a fantastic job cleaning up. So thank you all you moopers at the end. And thank you for all of you people that don't litter. Anyway, that's today's lesson. Kind of preachy, but it's really important. See you tomorrow.